it. Please, can we stop you now? You silly cow! It's not a game! Please, please. Shut up! Half a million pounds. Can't I just take one? You were grateful enough at the time, and overnight you sell the company. You made a bloody fortune! I have a duty to my shareholders. Well, what about to me? What about to them? You still have a job here, Morris. Don't do anything silly. Because I can do something worse. Show me. What? Show me what it's like. No, we've lost our house, we've lost our money, because she wants to have sex with a criminal and a pervert! Dad! I don't know how you could do this to us! I knew you didn't want me back. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. Well, you don't have to worry about it anymore, because I won't be here. And I'm keeping the baby, so that's that. Adelaide Grove. On my way, don't I? Okay. Anything for me? Um, not at the moment, no. I can have a coffee. Okay. Oh, I wish one of you would come with me just once. No, we're half Jewish. Yeah, well, not my half. It's funny you find him, God. Oh, he was there all the time. I just forgot about him. Does it help you to, like, forgive people their sins, or is it just that you want them to burn in hell? Hello. I thought you were working tonight. I just came to visit Mum. I'm going. No, no, it's fine. I'm going. Morris, stay and have something to eat. To answer your question, I hope they burn in hell. How can I speak to her? She won't speak with me. <laughs> Don't be so stubborn. She drops out of school, she ruins her future. But she's got a baby. Yeah, with some criminal who's destroyed my family. <laughs> Are you going to blame the baby for that? You know what it's like, Donna? It's like he's infected us. It's in our blood. <laughs> He must be crowing. Oh, shut up, Morris. Don't be so bloody self-pitying. But he's got away with it. Life's not fair. Have you not realised that? Have you listened to the others? Bob's bankrupt. He's lost his home. Lloyd's got a handicapped child. Have you ever heard what happened to Amit? No. You sit there in your own little shell brooding. He's eating you up inside. Soon there'll be nothing left of you. And I hate working here as well. Your poor dad. Not much of a turnout, is it? I didn't know who to call. I didn't know the names of any of his mates. <laughs> he didn't know the names of his mates towards the end. They from the hospital? Yeah. Well, at least they turned up.
None of his stuff left, Auntie. I've cleared it all out. I just want you to see it. So, this was your dad's home from home, was it? What did he do out here all the time? Apart from boozing. There was a lake in the woods out there he used to go fishing in. Could have been up to anything, couldn't he? Nobody would ever know. Out here in the middle of nowhere. Why didn't you take me? You're ashamed of me. No, it's just... You thought I would say something stupid. No. I never even met your dad. He's ill. He was in the hospital. You can't take me anywhere, can you? It's like I don't exist. It's difficult, that's all. You're frightened, aren't you? Hi, Auntie Maureen. I'm John's girlfriend and fellow kidnapper. Whoops, you didn't know, did you? Oh, yeah. We haven't got any friends. It's the same for me. You don't mind. That guy downstairs keeps giving me really weird looks. You're stuck in your own little world. I know why you like being a carpenter. Because Wood can't talk to you. He knows there's something wrong with us. He's Lebanese. He doesn't understand. We have to lie all the time. We have to lie. My dad, he never told a lie in his life. He had nothing. He had nothing and he was happy. We would be happy if you let us be. It's all a lie. It doesn't belong to us, any of it. Stop whinging. You never used to be like this. We stole it, Ava. Don't take it out of me just because you're upset. I had something so exciting to tell you. But now it's all spoiled. What is it? Ava, what is it? I'll tell you later. Come on, baby. When you're nicer to me. Come on, darling. I've had a hard day. Never got a chance to get things sorted out with my dad. Never had a chance to talk to him. Now it's too late. You see? You're not interested. I am. What is it? It begins with P. Please. You've got crime on the brain. Again? I give up. Can't you kiss? Oh, Ava, please. I'm pregnant. Oh, it's so tight, isn't it? I throw up every morning. I guess it's worth it. My boyfriend is in the music business. He travels the world. The States, LA. And every day he sends me a red rose. He's so romantic. Sometimes I have to pinch myself, I'm not dreaming. <sighs> so this bloke has a choice of three women, and he gives them each a thousand pounds. The first woman blows the lot on clothes. The second blows half of it on clothes and invests the other half in stocks and shares. And the third woman invests the whole lot in stocks and shares. Which woman does he choose? Search me, which one? One with the biggest tits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, toughen up part, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'll take it. Thank you. Sweetheart, I won't be back tonight. I've got to take a fair to Glasgow. Glasgow? Yeah, we'll spend the night and come back tomorrow. That's fantastic. Why? How much are you going to get? They must be mad. Who? Who is it? I don't know if you're some businessman. Oh, 300 quid, I bet. That means I can get Becky those trainers. Or I want to get Hannah a microwave. Well, it won't be that much. By the way, I'm seeing her tomorrow. Who? Your daughter. The one you can barely bring yourself to speak to. Well, don't you want some tea?
me. I had a massage. You've lied to me. What? You're not pregnant. I thought I was. You lied about your stepdad, too. No, I didn't. What stuff he did to you. What stuff? He didn't do it, did he? He made it up so I feel sorry for you. It's no good here, Johnny. Let's move and find something proper. Let's get married. Let's have kids. A real life. I thought I was losing you. Stuck in that tiny flat with no money. I thought you'd leave. We could have a garden. It was the other way around, wasn't it? Somewhere in the you countryside. You held me to ransom. You could have a workshop for your carpentry. Nobody's ever loved you, have they, Ava? Maybe they've used you, yeah, but they've never loved you. You don't have to have kids if you don't want to. She told me to keep my eyes closed and listen to you. What are you talking about? So I could hear the truth! John, if you ever leave me, I'll kill you. I track you down. I find you. Wherever you are. However long that takes. And then I slit your throat. Do you understand? We'll wait one more minute, then we'll walk. You always say that. Then we start walking and the bus comes. Hi, Joelle. Hi. Did you go to Naomi's party last night? <laughs> yeah, it was crap. <laughs> Becky. Sorry. <laughs> How are you, Mrs Price? Fine. I have to see my other daughter in Kilburn. I saw her yesterday. Who? With your husband. Couldn't see the baby. I was serving tables on the other side of the room. You saw my husband with my daughter. She's a nice looking girl, isn't she? Well? Well, you were right. Sorry it's late. The traffic was terrible. Well? Who is she? Five months? Where do you do it? Your car? It doesn't matter. Where? In her flat. Where's that? Crouch End. Crouch End. And she's how old? 25. What on earth does she see in you? I don't know. She's the one who answers the phone when I ring up. CJ Cars, can I help? She sounds northern. She is northern, from Cumbria. And you do it in her flat. Val, do we have to... How often? Please. Like every day? No. You sneak off there in your car, our car. I was going to tell you. When? But I kept thinking it had to stop. Oh, you poor thing. You didn't think very hard, did you? I'm so sorry. And all this time I was thinking he's really making a go of it. He's not much of a job, but he seems quite cheerful, quite perked up, actually, especially the last month or so. Stop it, that. Getting back some of the old self-respect. It isn't like that. He's so banal, Morris. I'd have thought better of you. Middle-aged man feels a failure. Things go wrong, and the first girl who comes along and flatters his stupid ego... It's not like and that. someone called Donna. How could you? My mother always said you were common. What? She could be your daughter. Does she want you to run away with her? I haven't asked her. Bail out of a sinking ship. We haven't talked about it. No. Too busy screwing. I thought it could bring us all together, what happened. I even thought it could make us stronger. Wasn't I stupid? All these months I've tried to be supportive. I've even tried to forgive you for the way you treated Hannah. Don't start on that.
You were so wonderful to begin with. It's only money, you said. You couldn't face the long haul, could you? I did try that. Where's your stamina? You should know about enduring things, you of all people. There's lots far worse off than us. We didn't die, we survived, we have our children. We even have a grandchild. I do love you. You've changed. I can't talk to you anymore. Would this have happened anyway? How can I tell? Would this have happened in the end? I don't know. You don't know anything, do you? If I left her, would you forgive me? You're not going to leave her, are you? You're not the leaving type. Not once you've started. I do know you, you see. <laughs> They've won, haven't they? Who? That couple. They've finally won. horrible row. It went on all night. Who? I hate him. I want to kill him. Who? I'm not going home ever. I'm going to run away and nobody's going to find me. Don't be stupid. That's happened to them once already. What's Mum going to think when she comes to collect you from school? Tell me what's happened. Dad's got a girlfriend.
He's moved out. Into her flat? I don't know him anymore. Oh, Mum, he'll come to his senses. Will he? How could he leave you? He adores you. I don't know anything anymore. I think she's a nice new daughter. What? Nothing awful's happened to her to muddle things up or make him feel guilty. Is that it? She's like a lovely new sheet of paper in an exercise book. You're being very reasonable. It's a relief, actually. What? I don't feel guilty anymore. He's the guilty one now. He's joined the sinners. Stepped onto the other side. You could always pray for him. Hannah. <laughs> what am I going to do? Go out and get a job. You've never been happy sitting at home. I don't sit at home. Being poor is a full-time occupation. Haven't you learned that? But you loved what you did. If I hadn't gone to work that day, they stole you to punish me for being a bad mother. Is that what they teach you in your church? He's getting more like his father every day. Mum? Are you joking? He could grow up to be anything. A serial killer. Give him a chance. What was he like? The man. He could be anywhere. That's the strange thing. He could be standing next to me and I'd never know. But I do know him. I know all his secrets and he knows mine. Don't you hate him? Yes, for what he's done to you. But if I hadn't have been kidnapped, he wouldn't exist. Something wonderful's come out of all of this, hasn't it? Excuse me, your Hannah Price is famous, right? Yeah. I need to see her. Do you know where she is? She's left. What? She left school last summer. You see, she... Well, she's not here anymore. You're Emma, right? She talked a lot about you. Really? Yeah. You used to eat your pudding before your main course, <laughs> right, just in case the world ended. She told you that? Yeah, so if it blew up or something, you wouldn't have missed it. I used to do that. No kidding? Yeah. How's Josh? Oh, I broke up with him ages ago. He was so young. Yeah, Hannah said that. I saw her mum the other day. Oh, right, so you know where she lives? Yeah. Primrose Hill? Primrose Hill, anyone? Morris, are you there? Morris, can you hear me? Are you Hannah Price's sister? What about it? I've got a message for her. She doesn't live around here anymore. What, where, where's she live? She moved out ages ago. Where's she gone? What's it to you? Um, I've just got a... Uh, who are you? I'm Emma's cousin, Jack. Are you the one who met Elton John? Yeah, that's right, yeah. What was he like? He's nice, yeah. <laughs> I think he's a prat. Yeah, so do I. Um, where's Hannah gone? He never told me about you. <laughs> That's Johnny all over, isn't it? He was a secretive little boy, just like his dad. Runs in the family, then. We never know what Johnny's been up to. Hadn't heard from him in over a year. Will you join me? No, I don't drink. Last thing we heard, he was living in Holloway, picking up the odd job here and there. <laughs> We always hoped he'd find a nice girl. <laughs> Settle down. Mm. Do you like to be called Catherine or Kath? Kath. So when did you see him last? Yesterday. Really? Mm. It was George's birthday. He dropped in with a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to see him. Do you know where he is now? Of course not. Dear, I got it right here.
skin, but... It didn't work for us, did it? It wasn't our sort of place. You made a mistake. Let's go away. Let's go to the country and have a baby. You really want a baby, don't you? We did everything wrong. We didn't have much practice, did we? This time we get it right. What have you been doing since Tuesday? You were looking for her, weren't you? What? The girl. Why would I be looking for her? Because I know you. You've been feeling bad about it. Sometimes I've been feeling bad about it too. I mean, what we did was a terrible thing. If I was my mother, I would, I would be going for confession. Much good it did to her. That's not what I've been doing. Shit, I suppose I'm going to have to tell you. What? I wanted it to be a secret. <laughs> Sure you want me to tell you? Yeah. I've been looking for somewhere for us to live. Is that true? And I've found somewhere a little garden. <laughs> you want a little garden? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> goldfish pond for the goldfish. <laughs> Where is it? It's a secret. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> ah, left my credit card. Back in a minute. Excuse me, did you see a young man, blonde? No, I'm so sorry, I haven't seen anybody. You must be Donna. I'm Valerie Price. Listen, what happened? I... It's all right, I won't bite. Is he here? I just wanted to tell you, I've got a job. A job? I was at Hannah's College yesterday and they've asked me to teach there. No. Part time. So I can pay the rent, start to look after myself. You don't have to worry about me anymore. I'm going to live my own life, like Hannah. Like Hannah. All this, it's made her. She's really grown up. Unlike you, who's acting like a bloody teenager. Val, will you listen to me? Just for once in your life, will you listen to me? You know, since this whole thing started, Hannah getting kidnapped, you giving up your job, you changed. You became this, I don't know, this, 
harassed housewife. You protecting the kids. You and the children against the world, against me. Against you? Yes. I didn't exist for you anymore. I wasn't allowed to be a father. I couldn't provide you with a proper home. Every time I looked at you, I felt a failure. What did I do to make you feel that? Val, you weren't there. You weren't there for me. Now I've found someone who is. Someone I can talk to and who listens and can laugh. We used to laugh. Yes. But they stole that too, didn't they? Okay. You can give up on me. Please don't give up on her. Who? Hannah. Go and see her. It'll be easier now. We're separate. I'm not there to muddle things up. Go and see her. Make it up. Then we can all start again. You can go and live with your bimbo. It's all right. I didn't mean it. It's quite sweet, actually. Go and see your daughter. We lost her once. Don't lose her again. Do you know him? <laughs> My father pissed off too. He went to Poland and I never saw him again. I thought my parents were happy actually, compared to most. My mum, she shagged up with his gas fitter. I think my mum made my dad feel inadequate. Why? Because she's the arty type and sort of posh and she reads books. Then he's a businessman, but then he lost his business. How? Doesn't matter. Uh, and this girl, well, maybe she makes him feel like a man again. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid fuck. Must have upset your family. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Two sisters. Do they still live at home? No, uh, one of them's moved out to Kilburn. Mm, Kilburn. <laughs> I used to live there. Which tree? I'm looking for Hannah Price. I'm her mother. Can I help? Yeah, I just wanted to borrow a book. Which one? Is she here? She's at college. OK, I'll come back later. Is that yours? No, it's her son. Her son? <laughs> She'll be back this afternoon. Then your mummy's going to take you to the park, isn't she? See the birdies? Uh. Hello? She'll be back at three. Who is it? Oh, you're doing history with her, aren't you? OK, I'll tell her. That's fine. Bye. How old is he? Five months. And what's his name? Tobias. Tobias. He's beautiful. And is he crawling or anything? No. He can sit up, just. Kids. You've got plenty of time. No, I'd better be off. Who, who shall I say called? It's okay, I'll come back later.
What are you doing here? Like a lift home. I can walk. How are the A-levels going? Fine. Hannah. I'm sorry about what How happened. could you do that to Mum? Oh, come on, it's not as simple as How it How could looks. you leave her? What did you do? You threw me out. I didn't. You wanted me to have an abortion. Yeah, right, you were 16, and I didn't throw you out. You left. We tried to get you to come home. How could I? You paid all that money for me, and I wasn't worth it. You oh, made no, that no, very no, you clear. You were worth it, every penny you of it. You wanted to punish me. To punish? That's why I had to leave. Maybe I did behave badly. But who says you behaved so well? You broke up our family. The kidnappers didn't do it. You did. You always loved the others better than me. What? You always loved Theo and Becky better. You really believe that? That's why you felt so awful when I was kidnapped. You know, I worked hard for you. All of you. To give you all a better start in life than I had. But you didn't understand that, Hannah. Now, come on, you thought I was stuffy, old-fashioned. And I was, I was just trying to protect you, to, well, to keep you safe. I didn't want to be safe. Or to stop you ruining your life. It's not ruined. I've got a lovely baby. I'm even doing my A-levels. I've jumped over all that teenage stuff. I'm a grown-up now. I failed you. It should have been me that was taken. You feel guilty? I'm Jewish. It's written into the contract. You better give that a rest, Dad. I'm sure the six million would want you to be happy. <laughs> Anyway, that's what you're trying to be, isn't it? Else, why would you leave Mum? I had to go, Hannah. We didn't talk to each other anymore. All the blame, all the guilt. It's, the doors just closed one by one till we didn't really speak at all. Oh. So, are you coming to see him, then? Who? Your grandson. University whining for you to buy me a car. And you'd never know how wonderful I was. <laughs> and anyway, would you really want all that money back? Um, yes. <laughs> Like you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go and collect Becky. I'll drive you. There we are. There we are. There we are. Bye, darling. Bye. Bye bye.
<laughs> How was school? Good. I got a joke. Go on. What did the dyslexic devil worshipper do? I don't know what did the dyslexic devil worshipper do. <laughs> sold his soul to Santa. <laughs> Hannah told it me. It's rather sweet. She learnt it from the man in the hut. It was him. What? He came to the flat this morning. He kept staring at the baby. Hannah, they're at the park. Come on. Tobias. So it's you. I always wondered what you look like. I just wanted to say I'm so sorry. I'm not. I knew I would find you. It's okay. We got rid of them all now. How could you lie to me all this time? I didn't know she had a child. I just had to give the money back. I don't give a shit about the money. Before, when we had nothing, we used to love each other, right? I still love you. No, you don't. I always love you, Eva. It's okay now. We haven't got the 
money to mess it up. We can love each other. We loved each other before. I don't believe you. We can be together forever. My love. I love you more than I've loved anything my whole life. You're everything to me. I die without you. I'm yours forever.